I'm Dean Wedekind with MaxiLift. And pro tips, another opportunity here to talk about troubleshooting and technical support for bucket elevators. I had a customer contact me recently and he said, every once in a while we have one or two buckets that get broken in our bucket elevator. Now they're running HD Max buckets and a new HD Max bucket looks like this, great condition and you'd like to see them last that way for many years. But what they were having is once in a while they'd have a bucket that would get damaged on the front lip like this and uh, cause a lot of damage to one bucket, maybe two buckets, and then that damage would disappear. They wouldn't see it again for many months and then maybe one or more uh, buckets might be damaged again. So I thought, let's go out and take a look and see what the situation is. I've got a few photos here. Let's go and see what I found. Now in the first photo here, this is the boot section of the bucket elevator that I saw there at the facility. When I go to a facility like this, I like to take a look not just at the boot, but the head section. You never know what you might find. Maybe it's something related, maybe not. But uh, regardless, went up to the top. I found something that ended up being unrelated, but it's very interesting. You'll notice here the throat plate is made out of belting, rubber belting. It's almost completely worn away. You can see that most of it is gone, but a little bit has actually been worn back and is back in the, back in the trunking area, and it's hitting the buckets. There's no way that can cause the damage that they're seeing, so I knew that wasn't the problem, but they do need to get that replaced with UHMW. Now here's a, a photo in the uh, inspection area of the bucket elevator. You can see right in the middle, a bucket damaged, the one right below it with a little bit of damage, and then after that, no damage. And you think, why is it only doing that to one or two uh, buckets here and there? Here's another close-up of those buckets. You can see the damage quite a bit right there in the front. These aren't broken, but they are damaged. If you look at the back of the belt, you can also see it was a, a significant amount of uh, pressure uh, very quickly hit because wherever there was a damaged bucket, there was either a bolt missing or broken or loose. That causes a lot of uh, power to take that, to make that happen. So let's look again at E5. You'll notice here what you've got is uh, feeding on the downside of that bucket elevator. The product comes in and I said, I think what's happening is you're getting tramp metal in that bucket elevator. The product comes in, the, uh, the, the pulley and the, and the buckets are so close to the bottom of that bucket elevator, the tramp metal is hitting those buckets and it's breaking them once in a while. And he said, well, if that's the case, why isn't it happening with the bucket elevator that feeds the mixer that feeds this bucket elevator? You'll notice the next photo is E4. And what that one has is also feeding on the downside, but you'll notice that the, uh, the boot shaft is higher. Now, next you'll see both of these photos side by side. And that's the thing is that E4 has the shaft higher. That means product can come in there. And I said, do you ever get tramp metal in the bottom of E4 where the product gets stuck down there and you clean it out later? And he said, yes, we do. So I said, what happens is if any tramp metal comes into E4, it gets stuck down there or it gets carried with the buckets up into the mixer. It gets carried into the conveyor and down to E5 where it breaks a bucket or two. So I said, the thing to do is shorten your belt on E5 and it'll take care of that. Now, if you're watching this and saying there's also another solution to that problem, you're correct. So I'd like you to watch part two of this pro tip to find out the other answer to take care of getting rid of that tramp metal before it ever gets into these bucket elevators. I'm Dean Wedekin for MaxiLift and Pro Tips.